Naked short selling is another matter altogether. It occurs when someone sells a stock they do not own and have not borrowed. Naked short selling creates two risks in the marketplace. The seller may not be able to deliver the necessary shares on the delivery date, and bad actors can manipulate stocks downward, repeatedly selling something they do not own. Naked short selling, without first borrowing or obtaining a so-called hard locator of the shares, essentially increases the number of shares in the market, which tends to lower the value of the stock. It is exactly like if I made three copy of, copies of my car's title and then sold the title to three different people. By the time I sold my third title, it would likely be impossible to deliver the car to the third buyer, and its value would also have declined. When Bear Stearns and Lehman started this crumble, many believed manipulative, naked short sellers using a series of large and frequent short sales known as Bear Raids helped drive both firms into the ground. Bear Stearns stock dropped from $57 to $3 in three days. Let me repeat, Bear Stearns stock dropped from $57 to $3 in just three days. When Lehman collapsed, an astonishing 32.8 million shares in the company have been sold short and not delivered on time. The SEC has proven incapable of both preventing market manipulation from happening and punishing those who are responsible for it. Mr. President, we cannot allow this to continue. At a recent SEC roundtable, major problems with the current regulatory structure were exposed. Even the panelists heavily stacked in favor of industry admitted that compliance with the local locate requirement is widely ignored. And Commissioner Elise Walter acknowledged prosecuting naked short sellings on the reasonable belief standard is a very difficult case to bring. Because the reasonable belief standard is unenforceable, abusive short sellers are essentially free to engage in criminal activities without fearing of facing criminal prosecution. Mr. President, the SEC silence speaks volumes. They have given no indication there will ever be action. Nothing from the SEC strategic plan to various speeches by SEC executives acknowledges that this is a priority. Clearly, the cost of inaction in this area is too great to ignore. Accordingly, I urge my colleagues to join Senators Isaacson, Tester, Specter, Shamless, and me as co-sponsors of S605, which requires the SEC to move quickly to address naked short selling by reinstating the substance of the prior uptick rule and requiring traders to obtain a contractual hard locate before selling short. We need to send a strong message to the SEC that the United States Congress will not tolerate inaction on this critical issue.